Good day and welcome to another micrographics vlog. We are an Autodesk and Lumen partner and reseller. My name is Sean Bauer and I will be presenting this vlog today, 21 October 2024. I am an applications engineer and Autodesk AECO technical consultant with micrographics. And today's topic is kitchen design in Revit. So what will be required to do a kitchen design in Revit? You start Revit, set up the floor layout plan, you start a new project, place the cabinetry, add kitchen fixtures, insert lighting and electrical elements, apply materials, add accessories and details, set up camera views and 3D view for rendering, do your construction documentation, schedules and sheets for you to create something like this in Revit I will show you the overview of how you can go about getting to this result Revit is capable of doing videos and also render still images or panoramic images if you do cloud rendering with Revit Within Revit, you can start a new project based on a template that you might have created or already have, or you can use the Autodesk uh, templates given to you with the installation with Revit. You can also create your own custom components and families such as kitchen cupboards, islands, chairs, tables, ovens, fridges, all the components that you need to have within Revit. Starting with Revit, I will design my floor layout plan first by default, adding the components as given to you by the architecture build panel. You have walls, doors, windows, your loose components, columns, roofs, ceilings, floors, and then curtain walls, glass framing, stairs, railings, and so forth. With this, you can set up your basic layout in Revit. You can also dimension your uh, drawing, add annotations, texts, and tags to identify the rooms. You can also create your sections and elevation views, internal elevations or external ele elevations if required. So this is the floor layout plan. Once I have my walls, floors and basics uh, set up, I will start adding kitchen fixtures, such as my zinc. You can load and place a zinc family within the countertop, ensure that it's accurately placed by using the 3D view to adjust the position and depth. You can also use the camera views to go and see what they look like. You have your all your views, your elevations, internal and external your sections, your renderings, ceiling plans, and floor plans available. If I navigate to my default 3D view, you can go and see where your elements have been placed, such as uh, zinc that have been dropped in, or prep ball that you might want to add onto your uh, kitchen island. To load families, you go to your insert tab, you can load your own families that you created yourself or ones that you have downloaded. You can add families from your content catalog or you can load Autodesk pre-created families. Within here they are within their own categories. You can go find specific things that you would like to add, some kitchen elements that have been pre-created. You can also load these in and edit them to suit your design needs. To place these components, select Place Component in the Architecture tab. Once you've placed your components, you're able to go adjust their materials to decide what material will be for each part of the 
elements that you've been placing in. As an example, we have ours in layers for this kitchen cupboard. You can go add materials for the doors, for the shelves, for the body, for the shadow gap, and so on. Alternatively, you can go on the Modify tab and you can go Paint and select the materials that you wish to apply to those elements. I select one of these just to show I can go and paint. Once you've finished all your application of your materials onto your components that you've loaded, you can insert some electrical elements such as lighting, plugs, switches. Under the system tab, you will find a variety of different elements available. So you can have your own switches, fire alarms, lighting elements, lighting fixtures, electrical equipment, plumbing elements, such as your zincs, mechanical equipment, if you would like to add aircon or extractor fans, your microwaves, stoves, fridges, and so forth. Once you've done your set out of your kitchen, you can start populating your project with elements for decorative uh, uh, items for a more realistic view of your space. I've loaded in some wine glasses, wine bottle, and these sort of elements that you can go and add to your project. Once you've done that, you can also go into more detail, add your shadow gaps, determine what kind of lighting you would like, this decide the disbursement of light within the kitchen, go add elements such as your door handles or drawers. Once you've finished all your ground floor layout elements, go set up your internal elevations, do some sections. There's a quick section at the top there, one in the view tab, you can go do elevations. And then you can add legends and schedules. Schedules are quite convenient to understand your space. And you can add as much information as you see fit for your quantity takeoff, bill of materials, those kind of elements. You can then go on to sheet and go place your elements. Here I have my floor layout plan, some internal elevations. You're able to dimension them, add text to them, create sections through the building elements, and then add some 3D views and renderings. Revit also uh, offers you the opportunity to do cloud rendering. You can use extensions such as Twinmotion, Enscape, Lumion, V-Ray to do external uh, additions to your model. Once you're done with that, you're able to export this as PDFs, different file formats. You can also export animations, videos, uh, images, and walk through the building. On your floor plan, you can also set up camera views for, for specific views with your camera, place your camera, point it into the direction that you wish to look and place your camera view. You can make changes to the amount of detail you would like to see and the view type, visual style, and we could do a render. With your camera perspective views, you also have the ability to walk through the model with your navigation keys on your keyboard, up, down, left, right, and your mouse, you're able to navigate through your project and view your model. This workflow allows you to create a complete detailed kitchen design in Revit and can be used both for visualization and construction documentation. A 
Thank you for watching. I hope you found this informative. Please like and subscribe to our channel and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.